Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can possibly fix the error zero cloning failed in Macrium Reflect. So let's get right into it and go over why it might happen and how you can possibly fix it or rather how there is an alternative way to do what you're trying to do without actually cloning your disk. Now, as you can see, I'm in Macrium Reflect and if I try to clone this disk, I have this wizard that opens and I have to select a disk where I want my data to go. Now, what might happen and why the error might happen is that your destination disk might be smaller in size than your original disk. Now, even though you have, for example, in the C drive, in my case, if I had five gig gigabytes here and one free terabyte here, that wouldn't matter if my entire disk one is in total, for example, one and a half or two terabytes. So if disk one or the source disk is itself larger than the destination disk, the error might occur. Why it happens, nobody knows. I have searched over the internet and it is not exactly clear why that happens. So you might need to use an alternative method. And the alternative method that I have found that works, that people do say that works, is that you have to pretty much just back up your disk and create or unload, unpack that backup to a disk that you want to clone it to. Now, this is done by actually creating an image of the disk you want to clone. So just select the disk that you want here in the create backups tab under local disks and click image this disk. Now you have to just select the file where you want your backup to go. And you can also name your backup, select the actual burner that you want. And that is pretty much all you have to do. Once you do that, just click finish and it, will sh it should create a backup. Now, when you're done with that, you just select the drive where you want to uh, open up the image and you just select that from here and you select the backup that you want to back, well, unpack. It should be in this list here uh, under the images files. And here you can see files and folders as well. And you should have a folder where your backups is down here. If it doesn't appear, just go to edit and search for it manually. And once you're there, just select a backup and then you'll have the option to open an image or backup file in Windows Explorer. Or you can also detach a backup as well. You can also launch Macrium Vboot. I am not sure what that does. I'm pretty sure it does help you launch your images as well. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much all you have to do. You just have to create a backup and then up unpack it yourself to another disk. And that should work and error zero should not appear anymore. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.